the Duke of Sussex took part in the game at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club on Friday. But his Los Padres team lost to rivals Folded Hills in the semi-final which means they will miss out on Sunday's Pacific Coast Circuit Intra-Circuit Cup Final. Megan was pictured looking deflated as she watched the action from the sidelines. She was spotted comforting her husband with a hand on his leg following the disappointment. The Duchess also gave Harry's close friend and teammate Nacho Figueres, who has previously been dubbed the David Beckham of Polo, a hug after the game. Meghan cut a casual but chic figure for the Polo Day out in a denim shirt teamed with denim shorts and sandals. The Duchess shielded her eyes from the Californian sun in a stylish pair of shades. She sipped on cool drinks and chatted to fellow guests including Nacho's wife Delphina Blackier. Harry wore a white shirt, jodhpurs and black leather boots for the game. The Duke has been busy with polo matches in the US with Meghan regularly cheering him on. He is reportedly training four days a week as well as hitting the gym to keep his fitness levels up for the grueling sport. British polo player Millie Hine recently told the Mail on Sunday that the Duke is living his dream playing professional levels of polo across the pond. Royal biographer Omid Scobie previously said Harry would play the entire season with his team. It comes after the Duke took a tumble from his horse during a match last week. Harry crashed to the ground as fellow players rushed around to check on him. The Duke, who was wearing a safety helmet, and his horse appeared unscathed after the fall. The Royal has played polo all of his life and has no doubt taken a number of trips over the years. Following the fall, Harry's team Los Padres team went on to lose the match 12-11. The Sussexes are living in Montecito after quitting royal duties back in 2020. Earlier this month, Harry and Meghan traveled to Britain for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. The Duke's latest match comes amid reports his and Prince William's relationship is still at rock bottom.